Caleb from Caleb's Aviation, and welcome back to Aviation News. There's quite a lot to cover today, so let's get into it. Starting off today, the Boeing 737 MAX 9 has now been cleared by regulators to resume service and go back to the skies. This is excellent news for the program, especially since many of its customers, like United, have expressed their displeasure with the delays and the groundings of the program. For those of you who are unaware, several weeks ago now, a practically brand new Alaska Airlines 737 MAX 9 was operating a flight from Portland to California when one of its emergency plug door covers blew out. This caused a rapid decompression of the plane in the skies over Portland. Immediately following this, the entire MAX 9 fleet was grounded in the U.S. due to concerns over the plug door failing again. Also, other countries grounded the MAX as well. United Airlines has also publicly voiced their frustrations over the MAX 9 groundings and production problems. However, now that the plane is flying again, that should mean they'll be happy, hopefully. Additionally, there's good news for Boeing, even though their MAX production expansion has been denied by the city of Renton and the FAA, it doesn't mean that the MAX won't continue being built, which is a good thing for the company as they desperately rely on it. Additionally, with the MAX flying again, this means there may be hope for its other variants like the 737 MAX 7 to replace the Dash 700 and its counterpart the 737 MAX 10 to replace the 757 to begin flying and operating soon. By the way, don't miss my video flying on the 757, the link's in the upper right. Additionally, the 737-900 has also been reactivated by the FAA, as it's now allowed to fly again. The 900s were also grounded due to similar concerns about the plug door manufacturing, as the 900 and the MAX 9 share a lot of features. United, Delta, and Alaska were heavily impacted here in the US by the 900 groundings. Hopefully now that they're flying again, it should mean more happy customers. In the end, this is good news for both 737 MAX operators and for Boeing. However, as mentioned, the production line will not be allowed to expand, so production will not speed up. This could impact other operators, like Southwest, who have received a fair number of MAX 8s and haven't even received any of their MAX 7s yet due to the plane still not being certified by the FAA. In the end, overall this is pretty good news, and it's a good thing as the MAX does not need any more negative news. Hopefully this is the end of the troubles for the 737 MAX 9, and hopefully the other variants are able to be certified soon. Also, don't you just love the Alaska Airlines livery on the MAX 9? It's the best. Well, that's going to do it for this installment of Aviation News. I'm so glad we finally have some good news to report on after all the problems with the MAX. Well, you know the drill. Make sure if you liked the video, make sure you leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel. I'd really appreciate it. But that's going to do it for me. As always, wishing you blue skies and tailwinds.